Hi, scholars. We are done learning about the planets, but there are more bodies in the solar system than just planets. So today we're going to look at Earth's moon. Earth's moon is dry and dusty. The reason it is dry and dusty is because there is no water, not even ice, on Earth's moon. The reason there is no water is because it has no atmosphere. There's nothing there, no air whatsoever. But it is covered in mountains, plains, and craters. The reason it has mountains and craters is because when asteroids impact the moon, the explosion creates a hole, that's the crater, and the mountain. And there is no wind on the moon to smooth that all out. As a matter of fact, the astronauts' footprints are still there, even though astronauts walked on the moon over 40 years ago. The reason it has no atmosphere, no wind, no water is because it's small. It's only about one fourth the size of the Earth. Now, the moon travels around the Earth in a pattern called a revolution. It revolves around the Earth. And because the moon does not make its own light and only reflects the light from the sun, the Appearance of the moon changes as it moves around the planet. Now, it goes around the planet every 29 days. And when the moon is facing the sun, when it's between the earth and the sun, it's dark. And we can't see it because we're only seeing the shadow side. When it's on the other side, we can see the whole face of the moon. And that is a full moon. So here's another little image here that kind of shows you if we were standing here, we would only see this part of the sun, it would of the moon, it would look dark. But if it were over here, then we would see the moon as a full moon. These are called the phases of the moon. Another way that the moon influences our lives is with the tide. The moon has a gravitational pull. It pulls a little bit at uh, things on the surface of the earth. And we can see that with water in the ocean. What it does is it pulls the water to it wherever it's at. So when the moon is overhead, the water in the ocean comes up high. We call that high tide. When the moon is not overhead, then we call that low tide because it's not pulling the water up anymore. Humans have gone to the moon and walked on the moon. They put a flag up here. They have footprints here. We know they've been on the moon. And the United States was the country to go there first with its Apollo 11 mission. That was when Neil Armstrong said, one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. And he went with his partner, Buzz Aldrin. After that, they made a few more missions, but they discontinued it in the 1970s because it was very expensive and they didn't think there was much more they could learn by making those expensive trips. Here are two videos about the lunar landings. There's an easy one and a longer but interesting one. You can watch either one you want. You only have to do one. If you wanna do the easy one, it's fine. Then you're gonna do this activity. I'm gonna show you in this view. You're gonna move facts Non-facts, those are like lies, they're completely not true. And opinions, our opinions are more like feelings. You can't really prove it, it could still be true. Like, I like ice cream, I think ice cream's delicious. I think that's true, ice cream is delicious, but it's still an opinion. But we're gonna be learning about the moon here. So if we look at our first car, we've got the moon is one fourth the size of the earth. Now that's a fact, isn't it? So you drag it, you drop it. That's it, and there's four for each column. When you're done, there'll be a little funny picture on the bottom of all those cards. Have fun with this, of course, and please stay safe. Keep learning, bye-bye.